I find actually God going to use me with other people. Because when I was so excited, I want to tell everyone, this is my story, this is my story, this is my story. How? Because I tell people my dreams. My name is Shakila. I'm from Pakistan. I'm born in Christian family. We were one of the well-known personality my father was in society. We have no problem. So still my proud of my ego was so high. I got married and from there our downfall start. My in-laws call me I'm unlucky and and they not allow us to eat enough food and uh, like the all the luxurious dream in my life everything was gone. I always think my life is like Moses, 20 years as a prince and now my 20 year was in the desert and God gave me opportunity to go and I just took water baptism and I find I become more stronger, like, like I have strength to fight. Now my weakness was gone and I was like not, I was not the weak woman, I was the like very strong person. One day my husband was asked my husband to come and because he wants to withdraw some money in dollars. After a few hours he said he lost his money and you steal my money and he accused my husband and he said pay this money back but we have no money so he said if you don't want to pay money you must accept Islam. We will kidnap your children, we will kidnap your wife so you will bring this money out and we so scared so they, they arrest my husband inside the jail they give money, they, they beat my husband. God help and my husband come out from the jail. And uh, the Muslim people who were disturbing, one was my colleague. And she says, Shakila, run away from here. I say, how I can run? And I just like, talk to my husband. Better you go to other country. Because if you will stay in Pakistan, we cannot stay together. We book our ticket and we reach Malaysia. And we have nothing here. So we just pray to God. I tell 35 prayers we write on paper and we, even sometimes we have no, no food. And there the Chinese temple, they always put fruit or something. Evening we go, me and my husband out, and we take this fr fruit for our children. We just like, God, we cannot do anything. But you can do, you can do. Pa one day pastor say, we, I saw one house for you. And they say, this is your house. And they say, what your children are doing? My husband say nothing. Are they going to school? No. We want to show you one school. And when my, I bring my children there for admission, then I tell I was teacher in Pakistan for last 17 years. They said, do you need job? Then I say, yes, of course I need job. So same day we get sofa and next day I get my job at the place where I'm working now. My colleagues come to know I know sewing. They want to give me every day pant alteration, dress alteration. The person from management come and where are your children? I said, actually today I have no money to bring my children with me. They call me upstairs and say from that now onward, your children will get salary from this school. And then September and October, we have enough money to survive. So we were so happy. God did give opportunity to my son to go Methodist College. People are saying actually no refugee can do study, but God opened door for my son. Now I'm in sewing class teacher. I have 11 students in my class. They are 16, 17 years old, and they are so happy and I'm so blessed because every morning, then I tell them the story of the Bible and then we pray for one another. Like God is working through my life. I find here in Malaysia, we are on the wings of the God and we are still flying and flying and flying more and more. And thanks to God for all the things what he done. And I believe God will do more.